the historic significance of the Dalhousie Square Heritage Zone, where the Governor House sits right here in the centre, is a very, very important significance, not only in the context of Calcutta, but in the context of the nation. Unlike Bombay, which is the financial capital, and Delhi, which is the administrative capital, Calcutta was both. It was both the administrative as well as the financial capital till 1911. One must remember that uh, these buildings are representative of a period which was trying to not only rule Calcutta, but the Indian subcontinent. And therefore, they had a lot of ambitions and a lot of reasons to build them in a certain scale and size and proportion. They were trying to subjugate. They were trying to rule. They were trying to make people respect them. We are actually seeing an example of how architecture embodies an idea, an idea of power, an idea of an authority that was inbuilt while designing and conceiving the overall form of Dalhousie Square. We don't find that in many of our present generation buildings. The telephone bhavan, which sits here, in the context of Dalhousie Square with the governor house and the entire Lal Dikhi seems to destroy the visual continuity between the governor house and the writer's building. And the simple idea was to reject that particular um, uh, to, uh, visual continuity. And no idea actually were implanted into conceiving that how that building will look like and how that building has to be designed. Today when we design a dustbin, it is for three months. And all these things will be loitering around here. And finally it will be taken away by some beggars and sold at a scrap value. Here, the designer is very, very human. He has put the thing from the top and he has ensured the taking of the thing from the below. It's a very easy operation of a human being, ergonomics. Okay, and what wonderfully written, street orderly bin. We are not celebrating okay. uh, the, the architecture of, of, of a colonial period per se. What we are celebrating is the aesthetics. What we are celebrating is their proportion and scale. What we are celebrating is the integration, the relationship of idea and architecture. We have seen in the recent past how development has seen a mindless destruction of our cultural heritage. We have to turn this upside down and keep cultural heritage in the center of development. Let's conserve in order to get the returns. We are standing in the gutted Mackinon McKenzie building, a significant landmark in Delazi Square. This is the large central courtyard. We plan to take this whole dome on the upper floor, on the third and fourth floor, and consider this as a whole atrium with capsule lifts attending to the various floors. Uh, the the, the sides besides these columns would be considered for cafe and this will be the central lobby space. We are very fortunate to have the staircase intact and we are retaining this in our regeneration and conservation plan. IFA's Grant to Arch actually made us more visible and recognized as an organization. An organization who can take this initiative further into conserving Dalhousie Square Heritage Zone. The grant not only provides for the documentation of architectural heritage, but allows us to leverage support for local, national and international recognition. Every dream is an eccentricity. One must remember what is eccentricity today is a reality tomorrow. What is important is what Calcutta we inherit today and how we are going to maintain it or destroy it. The choice is ours.